Hey guys, Neomis here. Now, I know you guys must be thinking, Neomis, well, aren't you going to talk about much about the game? So, I'm not. And the reason for that is because, yes, Arsenal won 6 0. Yes, it was uh, a very good performance. But let's be really, really honest with 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 everything. Um, West Brom basically put out their B team. West Brom are trying to get promotion back into the Premier League, which you know what is the most important thing for them. So it really does make sense for the reason why they rested a lot of players. And yes, you can make the argument that you can only beat what's in front of you. Um, which completely understandable and uh, that's what Arteta did uh, tonight but let's try to not act as though this was some masterclass of a performance from Arteta and that you know the players were just complete and utterly brilliant and that nothing that has happened over the past several weeks and what we've seen in pre-season shouldn't matter because at the end of the day what we've seen recently is just been unacceptable uh, and this game really papers over the cracks. Uh, and I, re I wish I could say that the game on Saturday against Man City was the real test. Because to me it isn't the test. Because I genuinely think that Arsenal will lose against Man City on Saturday. Um, and I think that when you add Pep in it and his relationship with Arteta. And I, I do think that they're kind of, you know, best friends and all of that. Um... I don't think that's the test. The test really starts with be the game afterwards that I think is what Burnley um, and really the games after Man City for me are the real test when it comes to Arsenal. But what I will say this is this, is that we have gotten over this first leg in the Carabao Cup. We've now beaten West Brom. They're out. And now our next opponents, we finally get a nice, easy, easy opponent. And I don't want anybody to say, Neomis, there's no such thing as easy games. But if you cannot beat AFC Wimbledon, a League One side, Arteta, with your... I don't care which team it is, whether it's the first team, the backup, the under-23s, if you cannot beat the under-23s, something is wrong. You... You have to be AFC Wimbledon. You just have to. Now, I mean, however the draw goes next, you know, obviously he's going to be need a bit of luck. But I think this is a nice little opportunity for us to be able to win the Carabao Cup. Maybe stumble over the line. Maybe Man City will somehow get knocked out of it by, like, Rochdale or something like that. Um, uh, you, ne you never know, maybe something like Stoke will, uh, you know, they'll get far into the competition and then we can knock them out. And you, you know what, when you win the Carabao Cup, you get an opportunity to play in Europe. And I, for more, w would love to play back in Europe again because I think that that's going to be pretty tough. But um we gotta get past afc wimbledon and closer to the time when we do face afc wimbledon in the carabao cup i will be looking forward to that uh game and i'll, I'll do a proper preview of afc wimbledon and, and everything that kind of has changed since the last time i saw afc wimbledon um it will be a nice little reunion for aaron ramsdale who a few years ago was on loan at afc wimbledon and helped him to uh kind of uh, will be to stay in in that league, so um, I'm sure Ramsdale will will, will like it uh, to kind of face off against his, his old teammates again, and it is an Arsenal home game, so I definitely will try to maybe see if I can get a ticket to it. I'm saying it's going to be an easy game, which means that I'll be happy when we win because we should win comfortably. There's no way that I expect Arsenal to lose this game against AFC Wimbledon, uh, and. I do expect to see maybe some more of the other players get a run out. Uh, I'm expecting Balogun and Martinelli those to get a bit of more of a start than now that Lacazette and Aubameyang are, are kind of back. Um, still a bit concerned that even after all the goals, when you look at some of the pictures of uh, Lacazette and Aubameyang um, after the games, they seem a bit 
you know, calm, ponderous with everything. Um, and it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting what the next few weeks uh, have in store, not just for, for Arsenal, but for the likes of um, Aubameyang and, and Lacazette. But I'm I'm looking forward to the next game against AFC Wimbledon. I think it's a nice draw, a nice easy draw for Arsenal. You know, make the fans happy like myself, uh, and I could kind of go and enjoy a nice evening with uh, Arsenal going up against uh, AFC Wimbledon. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game against West Brom. I not too long just finished uh, watching the game, and meh, yeah. They did what they were supposed to do. And, I mean, if they didn't do what they were supposed to do against, oh, God, West Brom's B team, like, that alone would have frustrated me. But we won, which is good. Um, but let's get ready for the game on Saturday when we face Man City's Pep. Could you manage De Bruyne and Grealish and Sterling, we're going, Mares. we're going up against all of them, it's going to be great, isn't it, it's going to be great, it's going to be great, I, I'm also warning everybody right now, that that game at most will be, will be like 2-0 or 3-1, because Pep is not going to, he's not going to cause his friend to get into problems with Arsenal fans, it, it will not, they will not do to us what they did to Watford in the FA Cup final, I think it was a couple of years ago now. They they won't do that. They 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 will they'll they'll beat us, uh, and they'll beat us nicely. Something similar to um like what Chelsea did, but it w it won't be heavy. Won't be heavy. So looking forward to that. I'll probably be on one on one Arsenal um on Saturday, and um I hope to see you all on my review after the game. But until then, please do enjoy your evenings and I hope to see you all very, very soon.